Hey everyone, it's Josh. Uh, before I start this video, just want to apologize. You might hear a little bit of popping in the background. Um, I am cooking some hard-boiled eggs right now. However, they are they are now on uh, steam. However, there's still a little bit of bubbliness popping. So if you hear that, I do apologize. Now, I think I've made a video about this once before, uh, directly, but... I'm going to make another video about this. I don't remember if I made a video about this, but uh, we'll find out. As you guys know from my other health videos, I have lost 114 pounds since uh, last May, May of 2021. It is now August of 2022. Um, so that's in 15 months, I've lost 114 pounds. And... Uh, I've explained how I did it in other videos, but I don't think I've explained my actual diet. So I'm going to tell you guys what I eat in a day and what's really helped me. And um, this is how you eat on a budget, right? If you're trying to eat healthy. Okay, so I generally start my morning off with four to six hard-boiled eggs. That's the first thing I do. Um... When I wake up, I mean, like I give myself, you know, a half hour, 20 minutes, a half hour to wake up. Then I go and I um, eat some hard boiled eggs and uh, that holds me over for a couple of hours. Um, after sometime after that, I usually start my exercises. And then after my exercises, that's when I have my big bowl of rice that I have every day. I have a 900 bowl calorie bowl of rice every single day. It's just a huge bowl of rice. And um, I put some different spices in it every day so I can have a different taste and different flavor every day. I usually mix it with some kind of meat, whether that's poultry like chicken or whether it's beef or whatever it is. Um, generally, it is beef or chicken. Um, the occasionally pork, but not too often really with the pork. Uh, but usually beef or chicken. So on a typical day, I'll have that 900 calorie bowl of rice, heat up some chicken, mix some chicken in, pour some garlic salt or some lemon pepper or whatever seasoning I'm feeling like having that day. And I'll chow that down. Okay. And so that's my big meal for the day. I don't eat big again until the next day. Um, I do eat at points in the rest of the day. I just don't eat big. Generally around 2 in the afternoon, that's when I'll have my fruit. Um, usually that's about a half pound of grapes, quarter pound to a half pound of grapes, or it's a quarter pound to a half pound of blueberries, uh, depending on the mood I'm in. I would like to expand into other fruits, but grapes from Aldi's and frozen blueberries are the cheapest fruits that taste good. You know what I'm saying? So those are the ones I eat, which is fine with me because I enjoy them anyway. Um, but I generally eat a bunch of fruit at sometime between two thirty in the after two in the afternoon and three in the afternoon. Generally, any time between four thirty and six thirty is when I have my dinner, and my dinner is almost always a single can of refri refried beans, usually heated up. Um, I mix spices in with the beans too. Like once they come out of the microwave, I'll put some chili spice on it or whatever spice I'm feeling like eating that day. Uh, if I want it to be more filling, then I'll, I'll add some more chicken to it or some beef or something like that. But there's usually always a can of refried beans. And um, once I'm done with my beans, that's pretty much my food for the day. So that's pretty much what I eat almost every day. And that amounts to between 2,500 calories and 3,000 calories a day usually. So I'm, I'm eating the same calorie content I did when I was eating like crap. It's just that I'm eating clean, unprocessed foods now. So I don't eat anything that has ingredients in it that I can't pronounce. Like if I buy a can of chicken and I look at the back of the can where it says ingredients, if the ingredients say anything except for salt and chicken, and water. I'm not buying it. I don't do any preservatives. I don't do any processed foods. Any foods that's been injected with anything that wasn't originally part of that food, 
I'm not going to buy it. That's how I've gotten myself healthy. Now, <clears throat> if I need a snack at nighttime, let's say it's 7, 8 o'clock and I'm somewhat hungry and I need a snack, I'll generally have a handful or a couple of handfuls of sun, sunflower kernels. And or if I'm not in the mood for sun flower kernels, peanuts. Um, and so peanuts and sunflower kernels are pretty much the only snack food that's healthy for you. And even then you've got to watch it because most of the nuts and seeds that are in the stores are not healthy. They're processed and injected with stuff. So you have to look at the back of the label and make sure that it's pretty much just like if you're buying sunflower seeds or sunflower kernels, kernels, you got to look at the back of the label and make sure that there's nothing in it except for the kernels and the salt and the sunflower oil. If there's anything else besides that, don't buy it. Okay, so that's how I live and that's how I've been living for the last 15, almost 16 months now. Now, some of you might notice that I said I've lost 114 pounds <clears throat> and I'm 386 pounds. And some of you might have noticed that I've been claiming this 386 pound weight for the last month, month and a half. There's a reason for that. I'm sure that I'm less than 386 pounds now. But here's the thing. I don't own a scale. And that's by design. I'm not a guy who checks my weight every week. I go see the doctor once every four, five, or six months, depending on what I need. And that's when I allow myself to be weighed. So I'm not going to uh, be weighed again until January or February. Because I, I, oh, wait a minute. I, I was at the doctor in May. Okay, so May was when I was last weighed. And that's when I was 386 pounds. So that's three months ago now. It was like May 19th. So I'm going to be weighed again in December or January, I believe. Um... And I'm not weighing myself before that. Now, there's a method to my mad madness. Owning a scale and checking your weight every week is a recipe for, for, for frustration. So I don't do that. I just focus on living healthy and eating healthy and living healthy for living healthy's sake. And because I'm only checking the scale once every four or five months, I'm always pleasantly surprised. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to be 386 pounds until January. <clears throat> of course, I won't really be that way, but I'm not going to know that because I haven't been on the scale. A little mental trick I play with myself. But when I step on that scale in January, I'll probably have at least another 30 pounds down. And that'll be a pleasant surprise. As to where if I, when I was weighing myself every week... You know, then I have to deal with the, you know, only losing a pound or two a week thing. Oh, my God, I've only lost a pound this week. Or I have to deal with when you, those points when you stagnate and your body just won't lose any more weight. Um, I went through a couple of months of that last year. And so that'll create frustration. So I don't do that. I just, um, I get weighed once every four, five, six months. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the same weight until I get weighed again in January. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to be 386 pounds until January. <laughs> Excuse me. And that way, I'm going to be very pleasantly surprised when I do go to the doctor's office and then do step on the scale again. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's what I eat in a day. That's, the, that's what's kept me healthy. And I have to go now because my eggs are done.